We are in the red. What's going on, guys? It's Ricky with Techman Solutions. Uh, starting off the morning, kind of sluggish. Um, I'm not uh, very intrigued by the market right now. I don't know if I'm just, uh, if I could just speak for myself or you guys let me know down in the comment section if you agree. Uh, market's not really doing much. It's kind of just consolidating, which again, shouldn't really come at much of a surprise because tomorrow is the big day, right? The FOMC rate decision is going to be tomorrow, 2 p.m. Uh, I will be live streaming it for free. So again, all I literally ask you to do is drop a thumbs up, get this video to over 500 likes, and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can tune on in and we can watch this together as the Federal Reserve announces the first rate cut in the thir in the past 54 months. Uh, with that being said, right, I love showing you guys my green days, and I also am here to show you guys my red days. Uh, 600, almost 700 dollars in the red. I opened up an aggressive short position when direction went against me. Then it broke above the moving average. I cut losses on it. And then it ended up selling off. So then I jumped back into the short. So pretty much just trying to recover from a bad trade. Uh, again, I made $6,000 yesterday. Now trying to see if I can go back into the green. Uh, it's still very early within the day. Market opened about two hours ago. Nonetheless, wanted to kind of just update you guys on where, where the market is currently at. NASDAQ market, also same thing, kind of trading sideways. But the thing that I'm picking up on right now is that it's it's kind of trading sideways with a horizontal pattern, right? Um, oversold range, overbought range. So again, it's going to be in my best interest to understand these and respect these support and resistance zones if I want to chip away at that red uh, that I'm currently at. So I probably am going to want to reduce my or cover my short position uh, soon. So just in case the market does begin to recover, I can either go long or um, choose to go short and open back short back up here and then make money as it sells off again. Uh, but I'm not under the PDT rule. And that's one of the biggest things that I wanted to um, highlight right now. If you are under the PDT rule, if you are someone that is waiting for the market to react for tomorrow's Fed FOMC uh, rate decision, then please, you might want to save your day trades, right? Because Today, it looks like the market's kind of just trading sideways. The big runner that we had during today's uh, market open was Tesla, but then now it's kind of just very sluggish and trading sideways. Retail sales did come out today for those that uh, didn't check that out. Retail sales came out a little bit better than what was expected for the month of August with an increase of 0.1 and the expectation was a decrease of 0.2%. So um, not a bad report, but again, None of this really means anything until tomorrow's Fed rate cut is announced. I'm very interested to see how the market reacts. I'm not here to pretend like I know exactly what's going to happen. Heck no, I do not know. Um, I mean, historically speaking, when, when, the, when you think about the Federal Reserve cutting interest rates, it makes sense on um, why the market could potentially go higher for longer. Uh, and the reason why is when the Federal Reserve cuts interest rates that make it less expensive for people like you and I to borrow money. And if it's less expensive for people like you and I to borrow money, therefore we should be more encouraged to spend money. If we spend more money, it grows and expands our economy. Therefore, markets should go up. But there is a lot of data that supports the case that as soon as the Federal Reserve starts cutting interest rates, unemployment starts to go uh, or get higher. Um, and then we can enter a quick kind of like flash recession um, is what we've seen back in 2000 and 2008. Uh, so we'll see exactly what happens. I know in 2020, we were also uh, cutting interest rates as we were going into COVID or into the pandemic uh, to try to save us from, you know, our economy collapsing. But I just, I do not know, right? Um, there's a lot of people that are giving suggestions on what they think is going to happen. All I'm here to remind you is, you know, we do not know. I would rather wait to react, but the market is testing overbought levels. So again, this is on the four hour time frame. This is NASDAQ's QQQ, and it's important to understand overbought, oversold, overbought, oversold, overbought. And we'll see after this report comes out if we continue to uptrend or if we begin to retrace back to previous lows of $440 per share. I've said it once and I'll say it again. I would rather be someone that is late to a rally that rather than someone that is early to a sell-off. I think if you are someone that is eager to get into a position and you get in a position early, you might end up regretting that position where maybe it's not the worst habit to build, to stay cash and wait for the market to react. And then once it does, you can make a more informed decision. I know that's a very boring way to approach the market, but it's a, it's a very safe way uh, where you don't have to put yourself in a tough position that you're gonna have to dig yourself out of. So 
Very excited to follow up. I'm excited to experience the fir- first rate cut in the past 54 months with you guys all tomorrow at 2 p- excuse me, at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And if you want to tune on in, again, just drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you tomorrow for that Fed rate decision. So I appreciate your time. Hope that earned a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And if you want to tune on into our live trading session, that's that second link in the description down below. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care, team.